Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another chapter in the adventures of Partia Al-Eat in Bannerlord. As he chases down these looters in the desert, Partia continues to dream grand dreams of helping his people, the Asarai, in their war against the Southern Empire. But word has reached him recently through rumors that the war seems to have reached a bit of a standstill. It has perhaps stagnated a bit, and that works in favor of Partia, who must yet again go far from home seeking three more nobles with which he can speak about Naretsi's folly. He feels he must go to the north, the bitter cold, and he might find some answers there. And as he does so, he will look to rebuild the clan as well. But that, and more, is in the future. In the present, the looters in the desert. Folks, as we dive into this battle, just want to mention really quickly, if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to let me know. And the best way to do that is by leaving a like and a comment down below. With that said, let's slaughter some brigands. Now this should be a fun fight. It's the biggest we've had in this Let's Play yet. And as they get bigger and bigger, they get more and more glorious. So let's try and train some of our troops over here, shall we? Go. Archers, go there. Archers, Arrows. go there. Move. Infantry, go there. Go. Horse archers. Take command. So, some of y'all mentioned in uh, in the comments of the previous episode that giving the horse archers that command will have them actually uh, skirmishing properly. So, thanks for that, and let's see how well that works. Now, we're going to try and shepherd these guys and get them stuck in clumps so that our archers can actually have a wonderful time in just firing on them as they try to come closer and closer. And, uh, again, if we can provide a nice, dense target for our archers, they'll do quite well, I think. Though, uh, I mean, they, get, they do get more accurate as, uh, as the enemy gets closer, or as the target gets closer, I should say. Let's hope for the best over here. It doesn't hurt to soften up some of the targets either, obviously. If we can get some hits in. Oh, oh, this is bad. <laughs> These guys are getting awfully close. Come on, get some kills for me. Well done. Dude, get away, get away. Horse archers, go there! Horse archers! Go there! Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Infantry! Kill them all! Archers, go there! Pull our archers back. Good stuff, okay, good stuff. Oh. Cavalry, go there! Cavalry? Run them down. Attack! Oh, look at that. That was pretty swift. Now, I'm a big fan, actually, of the variance of the charge order that you can give. Uh, you can ask your troops to run them down. You can ask your troops to kill them all. There's some pretty cool options. And I can actually add some of my own if I, if I feel up to it. I was going to get some more kills under Partia's belt over here. Again, he's still riding from that ego boost and the confidence of not just having won the uh, tournament, but uh, having done quite well in a few battles, he's uh, truly becoming a leader of men. Uh, he's got a good party behind him, and he's been training them quite well, so he feels quite proud of that as well. And look at that. Look at that. Look at this glorious army of his. Chasing the enemy down. A couple looters might have gotten away, but uh, that's fair enough. Well done, men. Absolutely glorious. Absolutely glorious. And look at that. Yeah. Worthy of celebration, truly. One death, unfortunately. An Asarai peasant, he will be mourned. Uh, but 3.7 renown, 2.3 morale, and I'm sure a hefty amount of loot. Quite a few of them actually got away, so we'll try and chase them down. And uh, yeah, we, we've got some leveling up going as well, which is always nice to see. So let's see. 920 gold, that's great. Let's get those prisoners. Let's get these Asarai peasants to join us. And our Imperial Archer, of course, will upgrade you to a trained one. And our Imperial Trained Infantrymen I think I'm going down the path of the veteran infantrymen. Uh, if we take a peek over here, the veteran infantrymen have the shields, and I really like their overall look as well. Uh, the other option is, of course, the men of, men of Liaton. I'm not sure how to say that. Um, which maybe is part of the reason to stick with the legionaries. <laughs> let's go, yeah, let's go with the veteran infantrymen. Go ahead and upgrade you. And we do have an Asurai peasant who can become a watchman. Wonderful, that's all of our upgrades done. Not too expensive, not too shabby. And how's the loot looking? All right, pretty good. Pretty good. A hatchet, a wooden hammer, fair enough. Let's pick it all up. 
little bit of food and stuff there as well. And let's go ahead and see if we can't chase down what's left of these looters. 3.5, I'm 3.4 because I'm disorganized right now. Uh, but I should try and chase them down anyway. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll hunt them down, I'll hunt them down. And then I'll head towards Uskar over here to maybe trade some uh, goods in, get rid of our prisoners, and uh, have a jolly good time traveling north with a lighter load. What is it now? Your death. That's what it is. Again, let's try and train some of those archers up specifically. Uh, they are hard to train because uh, of, well, they're, they're archers. Come on, boy. Archers, go there! Infantry, go there! Footmen, get moving. Infantry, form a shield wall! Horse archers, take command. command is yours. All right. Screamer Lord is getting a bit more attuned to my voice, I think. Still is a little janky at times, but, you know, that's okay. Oh, that was a... I'm proud of that hit. Oh, look at the work our archers did on that guy there. Wonderful. Soften some of these targets up. You're going to throw stones at me? There we go. Let's see this guy fall. Oh, you're going to turn your back to my archers? Come on, drop him. Drop him, men! Let me see your skill with the bow. Ah, they're too disparate. They're too widespread. Hard to hit a loose target. All right. There we go. We got one kill with our archers. Slaughter them, men. Slaughter them. Oh. Ah, they avenged my horse. Beautifully done. Good to see. Good to see they care for uh, Partia as Partia cares for them. Oh, do you see that death animation? <laughs> All right. Let's knock him down with my horse. Archer's still having a field day here. Yep, looks like it. No, don't you dare try to close that gap. Down you go. Keep at them, men. Keep at them. Um. Oh, I was really hoping to see them drop. Well, it's fine. Cavalry? Run them down. Really? <laughs> You're going to sneak up on me? Oh, wow. Absolutely amazing. That was great. <laughs> Completely destroyed him and off in the distance there. How is our raider friend going to do? Absolutely looking to uh, form close bonds with the Kazate. Them and us will get along quite well as we take down the Empire. And yes, I absolutely would have a Kuzate Throat Singer in my party. <laughs> if if the, if such a thing was an option. Come on, men. Come on. I believe in you. Ah, he's gotten away. That's too bad. But a good victory nonetheless. Yes, worthy of celebration yet again. 1.1 renown, 1 morale, no deaths or anything. Some ranking up for our archers and our raider. Beautiful, beautiful. Good stuff. The value of slaughtering looters, eh? Wow, 460 gold. Go ahead and upgrade you. I'm almost happier that I didn't kill them all in one battle. Uh, and yes, you can only go up to... Oh, look at that. From this to this. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Beautiful. None too expensive. And what's the loot looking like here? Ooh, a desert horse. That'll be quite helpful in speeding us up. From 3.3 to... Ah, we can't see a big enough difference, unfortunately. Nonetheless, take everything, of course. No need to leave anything behind. Uh, and the one looter, does he get to live? Sure, someone else can take care of him. I have a bigger bigger uh, nail to hammer down, so to speak. Let's chase after these looters. 4.9 versus my 4.7. Alright, let's... Uh, uh, I lost a golden opportunity there. Let's see if we can't force them into a corner here by just skirting alongside them. I, I saw a hilarious comment in one of the episodes. Uh, I forget which now, but it was... Um, Historically, the Asari were very good at the sciences and mathematics and trigonometry. Uh, let's perhaps use that to shut down some looters. And I just, <laughs> I lost it. Uh, good point. Yes, we should maybe not just chase them in a straight line. But it seems these guys have uh, really pulled me away from where I was headed. Really pulled me away. 4.9 versus my 4.7. An impossible task. Let's loop down to Askar over here. And, uh, oh, oh, you fools. I might be able to cut them off. At this peninsula over here. Is that a dead end? No. They'll have room to get away from me. Let's keep an eye on them. I want to punish them for making me chase them so far. There we go. Oh, this might be our opportunity to close that gap. 
quite possibly. All right, let's be smart about this. Again, you hold right click and use the arrow keys to actually direct specifically where you march. And we chase them quite far, but ultimately... Oh, are you kidding me? I was just too far to engage them. Making me pay the price for my hubris, I see. Fair enough, fair enough. That's the story of my life, isn't it? The story of my life. Well, let's chase them back towards Uskar then. Let's chase them back towards Uskar. <laughs> A futile attempt. I mean, obviously it's because we've got all these prisoners uh, coming with us. Oh, but perhaps we've happened across something far more lucrative. Is that down over here? Again, it is the direction we're headed anyway. 4.1 versus my 4.7. There it is. There it is. Another 23 to cut down. It all came full circle to a good end. <laughs> I need to be a bit more careful with that in the future. Going end to end, chasing after 11 looters. Like a fool, Partia. Too eager to kill. Too eager to kill what doesn't need killing. Archers, go there. Infantry, go there. Infantry, go there. Sometimes we can just use the function keys. <laughs> Horse archers, take command. Infantry, form a shield wall. Right. Nothing we're not used to over here. Again, give our archers some target practice. Risk my own life for the men, of course. Let's see if we can't raid our, uh, rate, uh, rank our Kazate friend up as well. Oh, right in the neck over there. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, look at them drop. Look at them drop. Like fish in a barrel. Come on, come on, drop them, drop them. They're getting close. Nice! <sighs> Infantry! Kill them all! Good stuff, good stuff. Archers are still getting some work in. Oh, I'm whiffing some of my shots here because I'm so focused on my men and how well they're doing. I just want them to have a good time, you know? Oh. It's like I could have killed them, but I wanted my men to get the kills instead. Yep, yeah, there he goes. I'm sure, archers will get him. Cavalry, run them down. Cavalry, run them down. Come on now. Come on. Oh, with that. It's okay. I'm just thoroughly entertained by how well our people are doing. I'm so happy. Nice. What's left? Seems we've done the task here. There might be some left over here. Otherwise, our men wouldn't be chasing the wind. Oh, yes. There they are. Oh. I think he just got away. Just got away. Indeed, we've won! Well done, men. Yet again. Yet again. More renown, more morale, no deaths, a little bit of ranking up on the archers. Wonderful. Mission accomplished. I think we've picked up some prisoners as well. Some more to uh, toss away for some wealth. Let's go ahead and make our Asari recruit the Mameluk soldier, because I would like to get some Mameluk heavy cavalry. It'd be very nice to have some heavy cav. Uh, some Asari heavy cav, of, of course. And our Mamluk Axeman can become a Mamluk Guard, and eventually a Palace Guard. Looking pretty snazzy. Asari Peasant, of course, another Watchman. And our Trained Archers. Ooh, Crossbows versus Bow and Arrow. I'm thinking Bow and Arrow. I'm thinking Bow and Arrow. We can make them horseback as well, or I can keep them on foot. Bit more variety of options. Sure. Let's stick with the Imperial Veteran Archer here. I believe that's all the leveling up we can do. Fair enough. So our, our journey around the... the oh, I was just about to say it was, you know, worth it. And, and it's really worth it. That's a lot more equipment we can smelt and, uh, and gain wealth from. Now these guys down over here, these villagers, do they require my assistance? Some desert bandits. They will be harder to take on, but I think I should help, right? After all, Partia understands the plight of the common man and woman. I should go in there and try to at least keep some of them alive. Help the villagers of Zom, absolutely. We should slaughter them with little issue, but uh, I wouldn't abandon them, seeing them in trouble like that. 
Oh dear, don't just ride your... Cavalry! Charge! Oh damn. Come on. Gotta hit in there. Don't, don't just eat these charges. There we go. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. Oof, we've done well. We've done well. Relations improved. That's good. That's good. Good reason to help people. You know what? I feel very, very happy we did that. Very happy we did that. Very much in character. A small battle, though it was, it was well worth it. And I'm sure our, uh, our men feel quite proud of being involved in something like that. Truly, Partia is becoming a leader of men. Got some gold, a little bit of wine, and some grain. Why not? Absolutely wonderful. And uh, yes, we can trade it all off over here. And we did, yeah, improve our relations with some folks, I assume, because of helping. And that's another way to just, you know, work on your relations with uh, with the nobles and with the locals and whatnot. It'll come in handy down the line. Uh, let me just check real quick, first of all. Ah, nice. Okay. Break Skull. I'm sure Partia has heard that name before. He will wish to speak to this man and, and see what can be done there. Rather than ransoming our prisoners this way, I just want to see if we can go into the tavern. And if, uh, like, we saw a ransom broker one time. I want to see if, uh... Well, there's Valdim. Oh, okay, what are the chances? <laughs> Greetings, if you have any prisoners, I will be happy to buy them from you. So it was giving us, what, 70 gold, right? Then you'd better bring your purse. I've got prisoners to sell. Tell me what you do. Wish to ransom one of my companions. Oh, dear, not this time. Bring your purse, good friend. I've got prisoners to sell. Now, oh, does this just let me select them? Rather than, oh, okay, so the price is the same. I was wondering if it was different, but it seems the price is the same. Fair enough. A bit more of an involved way to do it. Done. Very well, then. You catch some more, and you want me to take them off your hands, you know where to find me. Yes, at the local tavern. Uh, not this time. Goodbye. But he's here for a few days. Let's go ahead and speak to some more people, see if maybe we can't get some trade rumors. Regia's Imperials burned and pillaged Sahel. Oh, man. We're receiving actual rumors. While this man plays a jolly tune. Armed traitor. Do I need fighters? Seven men and yourself. So eight men for 800. Uh, no. I don't need any other men right now. I've got good men and they've proven themselves in battle. Very good health. Glad to hear that of you. I want to see if I can get some good trade rumors perhaps. No, just more information about the raids and the war. It is a rough time, isn't it? It is a rough time. Game host. <laughs> Not looking to play any board games right now. Not looking to play any board games right now. All right, Valdim breaks skull. I, I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. My name is Partia, sir. Tell me about yourself. Yes, my story. Jealousy, envy of my talents. That's always been my undoing. When I was a boy, I was the best fighter in my village. You're stronger as a boy than a full-grown warrior, people would say. I'm not boasting here. That's what they tell me. So when I came of age, I went off to make my fortune. Started in the Vagar Guard. I found that I was the only real warrior among them. They were all about marching here and there in their pretty uniforms, not pulling sword from scabbard for months on end. I told them what I thought, and my captain told me to keep my mouth shut or leave. So I left. Then I joined the Skolderbrotva, the Shield Brothers. It's a good name, you know. They spent most of their time hunkering behind their shields. <laughs> Me? I'd wade into the midst of the enemy, dealing out death right and left. And, well, all they had to say afterward was, Why didn't you keep ranks? Hmm. Strange response. So I'm having no more of that. I'm on the lookout for an outfit that employs real fighters. Right now I'm between jobs, so if you've got any work for me, I'm willing to discuss it. Well... We have been talking about getting a companion who is, uh, fighty. I think, uh, with a name like Breakskull, I can use someone like you in my company. Very well. I'm going to need about 1465 dinars to settle up some debts, though. Can you pay? Oof, that's expensive, but he's exactly what we've been wanting, right? Um, there was some conversation in the comments about getting a healer type as well, and that's not a bad idea, but I do want a fighter to 
you know, that, that Partia could maybe learn from. So right, 1465, here you are. Very well, I'll get my gear and join you outside. Wonderful, we've got ourselves a companion, though at the cost of a lot of our wealth. Um, let's go ahead and step on out real quick and see if we can't assign him a role. I'll probably make him like my scout or something. Quartermaster, I'm going to stay. Uh, though I do need to make sure I have my food variety up. Now, where is this man? Look at all these people just lined up out over here. Oh, you're not out. Oh, there you are. Yeah, usually when they say they'll see us outside, they actually mean they'll see us outside. Valdim breaks call. You got pretty far away, didn't you? Over here, buddy. We must have a quick conversation about your role. And in fact, as I walk around... Oh, good day. I meant to speak to our townsman over here. Silly brother-in-law... Money off Poxy Janab. I'm all good. Poxy Janab, always the first to put her neck on the line for the cause. That sounds like a good uh, friend to have. Anyway, Valdim, are you getting yourself into trouble already? No, I think he's okay. <laughs> Captain. So then, what is it? About your position in the clan. I'd like to assign you a new role. That of a scout. I will be honored, he says. Excellent. I can have him actually follow me, but no, I must leave now. He should be in my party. Let's go ahead and leave the uh, the town, though, and take a look at our financial situation real quick. And also our inventory. Um, really happy with how things have turned out so far. 648. That's a okay amount of money. If we look at our party, we do have these infantrymen that need to be upgraded for a small fee. And I also want to check in on... Yes, Valdim Breakskull. Let's take a look at our inventory real quick and make sure he's suited up properly because we do have something better than his northern cap, I'm sure, that we can give him, if you'll recall. Something we won in a tournament. And actually, on that note, uh, as these battles have been going on, uh, something that Partia has been contemplating, and this is something that was actually suggested in the comments that I really liked, is perhaps commemorating his glorious victory by smithing his own sword. Now, when you make your own sword, or, you know, axe, or mace, or whatever it might be, when you, when you make your own weapon through the smithing, you can actually give it a name. And while I might not use those weapons, because we're not really a smith, while I might not, might not use them for battle, um, it might be fun to, uh, to make weapons that we can just have in our inventory as memories of really awesome moments. Now, for that, folks, I'm going to throw it to y'all. Uh, let me know, sorry, this is not the trade screen, let me know of any name suggestions you might have for our, uh, for our first sword that we might smith, not this session, of course, but in the future once I've got a name picked out, because uh, I think, uh, I think that's a really cool idea, it's definitely something Partia might do to commemorate his, uh, you know, best moments, so, uh, let me know what y'all think about the idea, and if y'all like it, then drop in some of those name suggestions. 476, surely I am trading something that I don't want to. Uh, no, looks like everything we've got over here is trash, except for the Highland leg wrappings, so I'm, but I've got better stuff than that, so fair enough. And let's also get rid of 13 of the 14 Highland wrapped head cloth that I'm carrying. Apparently I got into a bit of a hoarding situation without realizing it. There we go. No, nope, one more. 1,035, that's not a bad haul at all. And in fact, on the topic of hauls, let's take a look at one more thing. Uh, we do still have the flax on us, which we can sell here for 27 apiece. Now, I bought this for 240 so I could get a tidy profit over here, almost double my income if I sell it all uh, and get 469 off of it. I am keeping a track of my uh, interactions now. I have a little notepad to the side so I can actually keep a, a ledger as things go on. So let's go ahead and sure. Take that money. Partia's party has gained 25 renown. Of course, we've rebuilt our clan. Oh, it feels good to do it at home. It does feel good to do it at home. So we are about... I mean, we're, we're, we're pretty close to, to tier 2, all things considered. And if I take a look at our journal now, Partia will certainly wish to celebrate the rebuilding of our clan. Wonderful. So now I must just investigate Nerezzi's folly. And again, for that, we are headed north. But first, again, folks... Uh, a little bit of work to do over here to make sure we get our money's worth from our loot. Let's purchase some wood, if I can find the hardwood over here. Where'd you go? Is there seriously no hardwood to be had here? 
Well, that's a bit of a surprise. Fair enough. I guess we'll have to go elsewhere to pick it up. Uh, we have one, but that's not enough, of course. And anything we can sell over here, we did get a lot of loot. Nothing particularly worth selling. Anything we can buy over here. Anything particularly cheap. Beer is cheap here. No rumors to go buy or anything. Meat is cheap here as well. We've got a decent bit of food variety right now, but um, why not put meat back on the menu? How about that? There we go. Buy a little bit of meat. And that's not for trading. That's just for having. And let's buy some beer as well. And beer, I think we can buy to trade. Uh, so let's buy 10. We started with how many? Oh, wish I checked first. Wish sure I had three. Well, let's, okay, let's take it up to 20. It's 648. Well, that's not, it's not going to help me do my math. That's not going to help me do my math at all. So beer, if I were to buy, I'm starting with four. So let's take it up to 14. I'm buying 10 for 255. And I'm sure I can get a better sale price somewhere else. Um, so 10 for 255 on the beer. And if we can double our income on that, that'll be great. Again, trying to take on that role of the merchant a bit more directly. And yes, meat will be back on the menu as well, of course. Um, sure, let's go ahead and get 10 pieces, I suppose, of meat. Not too expensive. Done. Nice. And then, unfortunately, we can't smith because we don't have enough hardwood or anything. So we'll have to head elsewhere. So let's make our way north now and see if we can't uh, engage some perhaps more dangerous foes. Definitely feeling that boost to the ego. Definitely feeling it. And Partia is going to uh, capitalize on it, if you will. Some desert bandits. Oh, those are risky. Desert bandits are risky. Small looter bands over here don't really concern me. Band of 11 up there. Let's go to Berry Hall here and see if we can't purchase something. Horses, maybe. Desert. Oh, wow, that's really cheap. All right, so our speed right now is five. If we buy all of them, we go up to 5.3. It costs us 747, but I don't think that's a terrible use of our money, if I'm completely honest, because um, the faster we move, the more easily we catch targets, the more easily we catch targets, uh, the more loot we get, the more loot we get, the more money we make. It's really that simple. So let's chase after these looters over here. They're headed in the uh, right direction, so to speak, right? To Kuyaz, yep. Let's see if we can't close the gap to them. 4.9 versus my, well, at yeah, the night it's 3.9 should be faster than them, even if it's ever so slightly. 4.9 versus my 5.3. So yes, I will catch up to them. And uh, then we can check in with like Bach and stuff to see if there's something else we want to do. What do I want with you? I want your death and what you have in your pockets and on your back. It really is that simple. Really is that simple. Uh, now, actually, okay, so I'm going to send the troops in for this one so y'all can see how auto-resolve works. Some of you have said I should auto-resolve these smaller battles, and I don't mind doing it. The problem with auto-resolving is that you often get a lot more, there you go, wounded units. You'll get more experience as well, but you will get more wounds, and healing from those wounds can take a fair bit of time. Um, so y'all let me know if you do want to see more auto-resolved battles, or if you'd rather see even the small ones fought. I like fighting the small ones, uh, partly because of Screamer Lord, and it lets me, um, you know, yell orders to my troops. It's such a cool feeling. Um, but, but of course, y'all let me know uh, what you would prefer to see. Lots of upgrades we can do here, but let's take a look at the Mameluk Soldier. I think we want to go down the Mameluk Regular, right, to get down to the Heavy Cav. Oh, sure. Go ahead and do that. What a mixed batch we have over here. And the Watchman, ooh. Mercenary Guard or Mercenary Scout. There's no point of having Mercenary Cavalry if I'm going to have Heavy Cavalry instead. So we could instead look to make them Hired Blades or Hired Crossbows. Maybe a good way to have... The crossbow with, I think, the pavis on the back there. So sure, mercenary guard, it is for you. All right, good stuff. 189, not too expensive at all. And a good bit of loot as well. Wonderful. Let's let's go ahead and see. Well, let's go to Bach over here really quickly and see if we can't sell that beer we picked up. And then we can go to Kuyaz and potentially um, do a little bit of smithing. So our beer over here, 26. That's not worth it. I'm going to approach with the typical, you know, buy green, sell red mentality as much as possible, or buy green, sell yellow at the very least. Those pricing colors indicate um, the, the variance from, from average price. I'm not interested in fencing stolen goods. Thank you for offering. <laughs> Let's see if beer goes for more over here. It is a city. Mm, not worth it. 
Um, let's go ahead and pick up some hardwood. 47. That is ridiculously overpriced. No. No, I would much rather carry it a little bit further. However, let's get rid of our prisoners. No need to keep them with us. Get us going a little bit faster. And Alkyria... Or rather, Al yeah, Alkyria Willow Bark is the healer, if I'm not mistaken. Can't afford her right now, but we might come back to Kuyaz to see if she's still there when we're done with our adventure up north. So let's, uh, let's make our way over. Over at Tubilis. We could hit Tubilis up because they do like us a bit more there. We can see if we can't maybe get uh, some better troops before we head north. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I take that back. We've got over 40 men with us. We're, we're ready to, to travel north. Again, we're, we're on a mission here. And again, five wounded, so we're closer to 50 men, right? 47, I believe. Let's head north, seek out these nobles, and uh, learn what we can about Naretsi's folly, and perhaps use it to our benefit, however that might be. Lysia, are you willing to purchase some beer off me? Taking money from our enemies. Reinvesting it into our, uh, our own nation. 45, that's not bad. If I sell 10, keep 4, 450. That's almost doubling. It's not bad. Let's not take it, though. Let's see if we can get a better deal somewhere. Uh, like Ortizia. You know, a city will typically purchase for hire. And let's see if we, again, can't uh, rob our enemies and maybe use uh, their smithy as well. First off, where is my beer at? 49. Okay, fair enough. Again, still looking for a better price. And the hardwood here is still really overpriced. Not interested. The further north we go, the more woodlands we'll see. So one would imagine that uh, it would get cheaper and cheaper to uh, purchase hardwood. Now, one thing I've been contemplating as well is exactly how Partia wishes to assist with the war effort. Of course, he'll, you know, pledge his sword and, uh, and fight, naturally, but he might also consider... Ooh, sell it Kuyaz for 232. That is a recent rumor. That's less than double. But it could be a pretty penny. No, you know what? It takes us in the wrong direction. That is, that is not in our best interest. Let's continue moving north. Um, so, right. Of course, he'll, you know, pledge his sword and, uh, and, and fight that way eventually. But is the first step perhaps to uh, set up a workshop uh, at home? Uh, perhaps a smithy to help, you know, make weapons. Or a, or a wood workshop to help build siege engines. Uh, would it be wise for him to instead set up a workshop in enemy territory and siphon his earnings from there back home. There's a couple of ways to assist in a war, right? And as a merchant, raised as a merchant, he, he should have a mind for that stuff. And that's definitely what I'm looking to uh, maybe implement. So maybe buy some workshops, get some caravans going, have that financial backing as we dive into, uh, into a more traditional approach, obviously. So yeah, let's go ahead and purchase some hardwood. Here is where we'll make our sales. Oh, we can sell our beer here for a lot. Okay, well, let's first let's buy this because I want to keep a track of uh, of the separate um, amount there. But beer, if we sell ten of you, leave four, five hundred and sixty-eight. You know what? I'd say that's good enough. I'd say that's a good enough deal because um, otherwise we're just going to be carrying it needlessly across the nation, across the continent, even. And we still have the food variety and stuff, so the beer isn't. Well, it's not completely gone. Beer is not all gone. And if that's not enough, let's head into the smithy. And refine some of that hardwood down and smelt away. Um, small spurred axe will give us some wood as well. We'll start with that. Refine some more. Get the pickaxe done. Refine some... Oh, no, we're a little too tired, unfortunately, it seems. So we can rest here. I would like to rest here. Smelt more things down and perhaps um, even forge higher quality materials. So let's wait here for a bit. We're not in, you know, direct enemy territory, as far as Partia would feel. It's not safe, but it's also not the worst place to be. Now, once that one cha-ching comes through of our daily wages, we're going to go ahead and stop. There's a couple things for me to check. First of all, our party. Seems another Imperial recruit has leveled up. We could use, I think, some more... Archers. I want to say. Well, actually, we've got quite a few archers. Let's uh, let's let's get one more archer, though. Let's go ahead and make you an Imperial Archer. Cool. And that's just because every day, our Tier 1, 2, and 3 troops, they get coached by Partia, right? And so uh, they're able to level up rather readily. But over here, it seems that we've upgraded as well. We've, uh, well, with stewardship, we've gone quite far. But again, I'm just not sure 
Like, I feel like Supreme Authority is more in keeping of what we've been playing like recently. So I feel like taking Supreme Authority, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think on that. We have a focus point available as well, and I'm actually going to spend it on Roguery. Last session I said Roguery is not quite in character, but then I realized Roguery is associated with handing in prisoners as well, which we've been doing a lot of. So let's go ahead and say we have been focusing on Roguery a fair bit, and let's, uh, let's learn the art of, uh, of those skills a little bit further, I would say. Cool. Now, as the new morning comes, those are his uh, nighttime dreams and thoughts, I suppose. As the morning comes, he gets back to work at the forge. So let's go ahead and refine all that down. Go ahead and smelt you. And got another one of you. Sure. Smelt that. Refine that. And maybe we'll get another smelt through. Carry less wooden hammers, potentially. That would be nice. One more refine. Can I actually refine? Yes, I can get some iron and crude iron. Well, let's take a look at the store real quick and see... What kind of numbers we're looking at here? What kind of numbers are we looking at? Wood iron for 36, wrought iron for 72. I think we can get a good price on iron. I think we should risk it. Gotta think, uh... Gotta dream big, right? Gotta dream big. Takes a lot out of us, though. Let's try it, let's try it. Sure. And that's all the refining and, and smithing we're gonna do at Legetta, at least. Please tell me that's worth it. 143. Hmm. I actually don't know if it was worth it. It seems about equivalent, actually. But it's okay. We, we got a lot out of that. 495 altogether from the smithing. Takes us back up above 1k. Let's go ahead and leave Legetta. And perhaps push up this way. Maybe let's move towards Carbanseth. I feel like uh, we've been told that we'd be able to meet someone up there. And as we, as we go up here, we are going to come across harder... To deal with bandits and that should make for a fun time a fun challenge for partia such as these mountain bandits uh of course he is still feeling that hubris right uh and and i think that ego is going to continue growing bigger and bigger until he gets cut down by something it's only a matter of time let's take care of these bandits perhaps 3.4 versus my 5.3 kind of take me away from where i want to go uh, but we should be able to close that gap in we go shut them down beautiful now this should be a slightly tougher battle but a more fun battle. I mean, not tough. Tough is a tough is a relative term. Tougher than fighting looters, but mountain bandits aren't that tough either compared to step bandits and stuff. So let's go to the field and have a field day. Archers, go there. Infantry, go there. Infantry, form a shield wall. Horse archers. Take command. All right. Now, the archers should be able to uh, do a fair bit of work. They are on an elevated uh, spot, and our infantry are, of course, up front. You can see the action taking place. Oh, ho, 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 beautifully done. Now, these archers over here are getting some work done as well. Look at that. Look at that. I, of course, should... Oh, right in the head. I, of course, should train myself, too, but... Uh, just brings me such joy seeing the men do well. Oh, <laughs> well done, men. Absolutely glorious. Each and every one of you, absolutely glorious. <laughs> oh, it brings me such joy. Renown, morale, ranked up, an archer as well. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, it, it's so much more special when you're actually ordering them around with uh, with yells. Oh, man. So dope. All right. Got some hillmen. Let's go ahead and uh, trade them out somewhere. Ooh, sleeveless studded fur armor. Hmm. Not as good as what I already have on. Studded fur armor. Oh, I could give this to my friend. He might need that. He might benefit from that, actually. Uh, let's take a look at, sorry, not the party, but the inventory. And... Valdim breaks skull. I could put him on horseback as well. Perhaps give you a Sturgeon Trotter. How do you feel about riding? I should maybe look into him a little bit before I do that. Uh, so let's see. Where is the studded for armor? Ten three two versus his six two one. Absolutely worth it. There's an upgrade for you. Now we're kind of matching, and everything else I think we're good to get rid of. Nothing else here is quite that uh, good. Uh, but yes, I do want to see if he'd be comfortable on horseback. So let's take a look at our clan screen here very quickly. And this would be a conversation perhaps over, you know, uh, a fire as we uh, rest 
on the March one day. His riding is 80. What's my riding in comparison? 17. Okay, so he'll be good on horseback. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Let's go ahead and give him a horse, shall we? Let's give him a good horse. Always hit party when I try to adjust him. I mean to hit inventory. Um, now at some point we must have lost the, the horse that we were... Our prize horse that we had. But nonetheless, can I ride a desert horse? I can. Much better than the Sumter horse that we had on. Better charge damage, better speed, better maneuverability, better everything. Fewer hit points, though. Interesting. Uh, so fine, if I've got a desert horse, then so too shall my friend. There we go. We need to buy him a harness or something, though. I've got one. Yeah, we should buy him one. Um, he's got a scarf as well. We're fine. That's uh, that's good. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's continue on towards Car Van Seth. Again, we do have some prisoners now, so we'll see if we can't stop at Sionen. Perhaps engage some more mountain bandits first. You fear me, don't you? They've heard my name. They know who I am. They know that death comes for them. Oh, look at that. And the 22 back there. Let's not risk that. Let's not get too cocky, right? Sionen. We should be able to get up here. How? I guess we have to go around the mountains. Fair enough. Let's check if uh, Uthalaim has anything for us. Oh, the hardwood is cheap here. Let's go ahead and purchase some. Um, there we go. Let's get 10, because it's so dirt cheap. Ordinate's not that bad. And, yeah, let's leave. No need to stay there. Castle there. Let's keep moving. I guess this is the mountain pass that we have to go through. Fair enough. Keep an eye out for the lords that we must speak to. And perhaps chase down some looters. Pick up some prisoners for them. Why not? Why not? Surrender or die, brigand. Oh, look at that guy on the right with his eye. Nice little nifty little details. Uh, uh, obviously, those are available in character creation as well, but it's nice to see among uh, among others. Archers, go there. Infantry, go there. Infantry, form a shield wall. Hmm. Horse archers, take command. Cavalry on me. me. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be nice. Again, gonna get some work done. Gotta make sure our infantry charges in when lines close a little bit, of course. But let's get some kills in for ourselves as well, shall we? We haven't we haven't been slaughtering in a while, for a while. Nice, giving our cavalry an opportunity to uh, get better. Valdim, no, he's been injured. Come on now, man. I hear I thought uh, you were the superior warrior. Seems he can learn something from me instead. These horses are not having a good time. Cavalry, go there. Cavalry, go there. Oof. Our uh, Imperial Equite, Equite, has been... Uh, Dropped as well. That's not so good. Try something a little different. Took a risk. Aim for it. Oh man, we rode that looter down. We rode him down with our horse. Cavalry, run them down. Oh, you just got away from me, buddy. Down with you. Oh, just whiffed him. Oh, that's not good. No, 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 don't you dare die. Okay, good. Oof, I was really worried there for a second. The battle is done, but uh, the killing is not. Let's hump them down. Swiftly, let's go. Sure, make a wedge, why not? <laughs> let's go in, get a couple kills in, hopefully. Oh, or just whiff them, why not? Out of practice watching my men fight so much. There we go. Got one hit in. Come on now. Come on now, Partia. If nothing else, this will uh, bring him down a notch, maybe. Let's go, let's go. Uh, into the trees. They've run. Man. <laughs> They're gonna get away. I can't believe it. Whiffed all those shots. 
Ah, it is what it is. <laughs> That's quite unfortunate. All right, just a couple of wounded troops. Just a couple of wounded troops. Not the worst situation. Oof. That was uh, not as clean as it should have been. At all. I'm hoping to raise some capital through all these battles as well in the looting uh, in the hopes of, you know, like I was talking about earlier, getting a workshop or something like that happening. Uh, but yes, onwards towards hopefully the answer to Noretzi's folly. Rugen the Brewer. Not interested in that. Buttermilk Katugan. Fencing. No thank you. No nobles to speak to, eh? No nobles to speak to. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can't offload some of our useless armor that we're carrying over here. Yep, nothing worth keeping. Good bit of money to be made. Wonderful. And I could actually look at buying some armor or something, but I uh, don't think it necessary. Ransom all my prisoners. Lighten our load a little bit. And let's continue towards uh, Karb and Seth. Perhaps from down south over here. We, we can hit Marunath up on the way. See if any uh, answers are there, perhaps. Mm. Wondering if I want to do anything else. In particular, let's uh, let's auto resolve the fight with these uh, looters if we can catch them. I imagine we'll be able to. Ooh, saw an army up there that we might be able to speak to. Surrender or die. And yes, we'll simply auto resolve this one. Send the troops in. Let them have some glory on their own, right? Yeah, you can see six wounded. That's wild. But many leveled up as well. Wandered some gold. Got a little bit of loot as well, of course. Ooh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see if we can't intercept this army, and maybe we can hear... Or perhaps... No, that's... Uh, these guys are probably too fast for me. 3.1 versus my 3.6. Oh, I should be able to catch them. Forest bandits I want to keep my distance from. Forest bandits I, I do not like. <laughs> they are range heavy, and they are scary. Okay, let's close the gap over here and see if they can't direct me um, a little bit. Peace to you, stranger. What is your name? My name is Portia, sir. May I ask yours? I am Luichin of the Fen Penraic, one of the ancient lineages of the Batanians. I am Lord of Sionan. Don't know your name, but no matter. Can you tell me about the Battle of Pendraic? I wasn't there. I know Kaladog had some thoughts on it. Okay, where is Kaladog at? Ooh. At war, it seems. Well, thank you, good sir. That might assist me. Head back this way. All right, fair enough, fair enough. It's not too far away. We can loop around this way. Cool. Let's do it. I imagine there's a, a, an ongoing siege or something. Let's make our way down. Make our way over. Hopefully our troops will heal as that happens. And of course, um, Valdim is healing slowly as well. Now our trained archers, we can upgrade to the veterans. And our Asurai peasant, an upgrade for you as well. And the infantry. Get some upgrades too. Good stuff. Solid core being built here. And you know what? Let's head to Maranath to drop off our prisoners. No need to keep them among us. Uh, to the taverns, ransom them. Let's leave. Oh, it's so tempting. These looters over here, it's so very tempting, but it's just not worth it. We need to get to this castle. See what we can learn. See if we can't uh, find... Who was it? Caradog, I believe. Make our way over. So far, Partia's, uh, ooh, done well in this chapter. I could catch these mountain bandits. They do have some cavalry with them, which is always worrying. Let's go up here. Anything to learn or see? No. Is he in here, perhaps? Okay, they'll allow me in. He is in here. Yes, I think so. No. Company of trouble. No, no, no. That's not, uh, we're looking for Caradog. Lots of mountain bandits around us right now. Or if I want to take the risk. See maybe if we stumble upon our uh, our friend that we seek. Possibly headed in the wrong direction for that. Yeah, no such luck. Is after those bandits still? Especially if they're going to sit next to a uh, a city where I can sell their uh, <laughs> sell them and the things they carry, I suppose. Oh, I probably could have uh, cut them off a bit better if I just uh, organized my approach there. Keeping my eyes peeled as well for uh, 
our uh, conversation. Oh, they're, they're faster than us. They must have dumped something. Fair enough. Let's loop back in a way. Again, every day that we don't earn money, we're, we're losing money, obviously. So evidently, I guess there's a war going on between these nations. Let's start falling back towards uh, Legeta again. See if we can't get us some information up there. Good to have a scout actually spout, spotting out these uh, hideouts, eh? Oh yeah, looks like there's very much a war going on. Agdil. You're not important to me. Well, let's go ahead and check the encyclopedia. Where are you now? Yeah. Gersagos Castle. Up there. I mean, that's where he was last seen. Doesn't mean that he's up there, obviously. Y you know what? In fact, he might be in the dungeon. <laughs> now that I think about it, he might be in the dungeon. Partia gained a level in stewardship. That'll give us a focus point as well, potentially. Let's get up over here. Lots of mountain bandits. Oh, Kaladog's army. There it is. Okay, now there are some mountain bandits coming through. While the siege is ongoing, perhaps we can entertain the men with some work. Let's not venture too far away from this, because I do want to see... Well, in fact, they're in a camp right now. I don't think they're actually attacking. So perhaps let's see if we can't speak to them as they prepare. Surely they won't mind this interruption. Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. My name is Partias, sir. May I ask your name? I am Kaladog, High King of the Batanians. I am Lord of Lagetta and Marunath. The one thing about me you should know is that I make a very good friend, and you absolutely do not want me as an enemy. Okay, can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? I am a busy man, but there is always time to talk about the blessed Battle of Pendraic. Try to talk about it without talking smack, please. Our dear old beloved King Errol, a wonderful man, but with a heart perhaps just a mite too tender, did not wish for us to go off to war. But then he disappeared, and I, his son-in-law, ascended to the kingship. The clans cried out for war. They had a hundred years of crimes against them to avenge. I, a father to my people, gave them what they wanted. Now, the Empire uses tricks and traps in war. No, Batanian fears to meet an Imperial soldier man to man, but we thought it would be a good laugh to use their tricks against them. So we laid an ambush on both sides of a wooded pass, and wouldn't you know, they marched right into it. They turned and twisted as our arrows rained down upon them, like fish going frantic in a pond as you draw the net tighter. Then, when they were greatly discomfited, we took up our foxes and swords and reaped the harvest. Oh, there was some unpleasantness later with the Sturgeons about the spoils of war, but what a grand old day it was. Well, thank you, Kaladog, for that informative conversation. I bid you farewell. I do believe I can speak to at least one more Batanian. And uh, then perhaps we seek out some information further north, like I said, in the bitter cold, right? Maybe we head up towards Varcheg or something like that. Um, we could go deeper over to Dunglanis, perhaps. Let's try that. Let's, let's head towards Dunglanis. Maybe we'll engage some bandits en route, but uh, not particularly pursuing that right now, unless they happen to come in my way. I'm gonna have to ex exhibit a lot of patience over here, because again, we are losing money every day that we don't uh, earn money or bring in some loot. We do stand to lose money, though we are carrying a lot of stuff that we can sell off, so I'm not too concerned or anything. But Partia would, of course, be thinking consistently about the finances of his journeys, of his quests. Anybody else to speak to, perhaps? No, no one just here. Let's head up to Dun, uh, Dunglanis. And see if, uh, if there's anything to be learned up here, perhaps. Anyone to speak to? Cinnamon Iona. Rival gangs, not interested. No, 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 no. We're not leaving you behind. Very well, let's check up on trade and uh, our tavern as well. Do we have some prisoners? We do not. We did empty them out. Anything we can give off? 
Uh, nah, worst case scenario, sure, but we're not there yet. We're not quite there yet. We've got enough days of food. Nothing down here, but perhaps closer to Karaban Seth. Again, that was marked. Let's uncheck Makeb and the castle. And Samatha as well. Those are no longer needed. These looters over here, perhaps we can ride them down. Your eyes peeled for that exclamation mark, right? What I want is your death, Brigand. And then perhaps we can trade our loot in at, uh, at the castle over here. Or not the castle, but the, uh, the town, the city. Archers! Go there! Archers? Go there. Infantry, go there. Infantry, form a shield wall. Horse archers. Actually, you know what? Leave leave the horse archers out of this. I took a couple of risks with them in the past, and I'm starting to get a little nervous, if I'm completely honest. Let our archers get the work done over here as I ride around. Oh, look at those hits. Good hit from our horse. Our veteran archers got some wounds in. Kill this man. Let's see who gets him first. Let's see who gets him first. Oh, I did. <laughs> Seems I did. All right, fair enough. Fun game to play with our men, I guess. Oof, took a lot of damage there. Rode right across the line there. Oh. Looks like we don't even have to... Beautifully done. I was about to say, I, I was about to call my archers back, but it seems unnecessary. Cavalry, run them down. I said, cavalry. Cavalry. Run them down. Attack. Gotta get my men to uh, listen more. Yeah, you can attribute it to uh, the, the, the din of the battlefield, you know? Oh, I think I got him right in the throat. Oof, good hit there. Cavalry's coming through. Might not be able to catch them all, but pretty good haul so far. If I just get some shots in while I chase, if I actually hit with those shots, it might be better. There we go. Our cavalry's made it. Good free kills for them, perhaps. A couple here and there. A little bit of extra loot for us to gather as well. Oh, it just got away from me. Oh! Oh, good teamwork. Wonderfully done, men. Yes, beautiful charge. Oh, 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 oh my god. This is wonderful. This this is amazing. Oh, those those crisscross charges earlier. Each one getting getting an individual. Absolutely beautiful. Valdim having a wonderful time as well, I imagine. Breaking some skulls as it were. Oh, is he gonna get away? Ah, one got away. One got away. All good though. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. 1.8 renown, some morale. Leveled up a trained archer as well. Fantastic. Oh, man. 281 gold as well. Got some prisoners, of course. No, no surprise there. And lots to trade. Some wine to drink. Not from the skulls of our enemy. We are not uncouth. Though perhaps later on in this campaign, Partia, if he keeps going like this, might get a little bloodthirsty. Ransom those prisoners, and let's go ahead and trade some of the garbage we're carrying, shall we? Our armor. And nothing too good over here. There we go. All the uh, the time spent running around, not making any money, we've uh, we've made up that gap. Now, surely we can find our friend near here. I mean, he. I I, I think I think the other person we were looking for was near here at a time. So we can hope they are still near here, but not quite how this game works. The, uh, the point of an open world game, of course. Play being made over there. Pen Canuck. What's going on down over here? No nobles to be found down there. None. Oh, actually. A couple parties, but none that interest me. Let's make our way back out. And perhaps let's head up further north. Let's head towards uh, Varcheg, perhaps. If we can't find uh, a battalion, I'll make do with someone else. 
will make do with anyone else. I wish to complete this quest so I can head back home, perhaps, and set up a, uh, set up a nice workshop. Or again, like I said, perhaps set up a workshop in uh, enemy territory. And use that to my advantage as a way of funneling wealth back home. Alright. Well, if we are over here, let's see if we can't find anyone to uh, give us some guidance, perhaps. Over at Varcheg. Anyone to speak to? Unfortunately, no such luck. No such luck. Keep exploring, though. But head towards Revel. There's a lot to see up over here. Omor. Let's, let's head towards Omor. That's a nice long journey. Uh, which might be fruitful as we cross through a fair bit of uh, land. We could take on the Sea Raiders. Now, the Sea Raiders are the hardiest bunch. I wouldn't mind taking them on a little bit. And that's that overconfidence showing through. Ooh, 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 hello. Yorig's army. Where are you headed? They might be headed towards someone who uh, we want. They might be grouping up with an army. In fact, let's speak to them. It helped me last time. It helped me last time. Though I don't have to look at this. Yorig. The Battle of Pendrake. Ragenvad. Where is Ragenvad? Near Ov Castle. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and search him out. Thank you. I can always just use the encyclopedia to, to find their names, but uh, I find this a more interesting and, frankly, um, in-universe way of finding who we need to find. Okay, making our way over to Ov, and if we can hit some Sea Raiders en route, we'll happily do so, because that will be a fun fight. These Sea Raiders over here, for example, seem to be sticking in my path. Now, this will be a tough fight, too. We will lose some men to this one, I would say, I would imagine. What I want with you is your death. I don't intend to take you alive, only your stuff. They are, they are tough. They have actual weapons. They'll cause some damage, and they'll cause some kills. Archers! Go there. Infantry! Go there. Infantry, form a shield wall. Alright. Now let's see what they have. Do they have javelins among them? I think they do. Try and soften them up. Yeah, they've got shields as well as the problem. So we can't just kind of harass them with our archers. These are, these are serious raiders. Oh. Go ahead and see if we can't get some hurt done. Oh my god, we've taken a lot of hurt. Let's get out of here. We gotta go, we gotta go. See, it's dangerous. Good job by our archers there. Infantry! Charge! Cavalry! Cavalry! On me! On me! I mean, we've done quite well, actually. Wow, we did a lot better than I expected, if I'm completely honest. Don't think I want to see... Yeah, we lost three. What did we lose? An Asarai recruit, a Mameluk soldier, and a veteran infantryman. See, they're, they don't mess around. We took a couple of injuries as well. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. They don't mess around. Sea Raider, Sea Raider Chief. This should fetch us a pretty penny, I imagine. Let's go ahead and rank up who we can. Go ahead and get an Imperial Infantryman. Asrai Recruit. As a Mameluk Soldier, please. Imperial Archer. Train you up. Mameluk Soldier. This is a Mameluk Regular. Our Asrai Peasants, of course, as Watchmen. They're having an adventure, aren't they? Our Tribesmen. Who do we... Do we go with the Footman? Or the Skirmisher? Let's go with the Footman. Let's go with the footmen. And our trained archers, of course, become veterans. Our watchmen become mercenary guard. All right, things are coming together nicely here. Spending a little bit of money, but well worth it. Make that money back. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? Some really fancy equipment over here that I'm sure we can melt down for some good gains. Cleaver, interesting. Wonder if I shouldn't give that to Valdim, actually. Pick it all up, though. Spiked mace. We've we've picked up some interesting stuff, that's for sure. Between that battle and previous battles as well. Over at Of Castle, will we find who we're looking for? 
more sea raiders. So many sea raiders around these parts. But as you can see, it can be a bit more of a challenging battle. You're not who we seek. Ah, uh, perhaps he's moved on. Perhaps he's moved on. On to Omor. Anything over here? No such luck. Let's check. Let's check properly. Yeah, no. No such luck. He can't have gone too far, right? He was recently found there. We can check to see if there was any updates. Um, oh, I forget his name. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> that helps. Ulrich is getting more recruits down there. Loop back up to Ov Castle. Yeah, I, I doubt we'll find him up over here. I think he's uh, made his way. Where to is the question. Where to is the question. I think it's time for us to visit a town somewhere and perhaps smelt what we've got. And raise some, uh, some capital. Money is looking a little tight. It's not low by any means. But it's lower than, I'd, uh, than I feel comfortable with. All these bandits are going to run away. Ooh, 47 looters. That could be a fun fight. That could be a fun fight. What do we have here? There's a battle going on. Perhaps the person we seek is over here? No. Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. We just saw a conquest. Just rode right past it. We've seen it before, but... Always wild to see war like this. Up to Varcheg, let's go. One last hope to double check back over here. It seems that there's no such luck. Fine, let's go over to Revel then. These Sea Raiders, they fear me. That's good. Little Sea Raider hideout up over there. 20 looters out of my way. I do have prisoners I can drop off at Revel at the very least. Again, it'll speed us up. So let's let's head over to Revel. And perhaps uh, have some rev reves at Revel, if you catch my meaning. Over to the Tavern District, 111 to be made from our prisoners. Excellent. Let's take a look at our trade opportunities. What have we got over here? You know, we actually should buy some more food and stuff. Food variety has dropped, and that's not good. We can buy some wine over here. Spend 300 on wine. I don't have that kind of money. I'm going to spend 164 on wine instead. Let's go ahead and also purchase some hardwood. Wood should be plentiful up over here. I imagine it would be pretty cheap. Oof, it's actually kind of pricey compared to what I would expect. Oh, we have plenty, right. I forgot that I bought a bunch. So instead, let's head straight to the smithy. And let's, uh, let's tear down some of the things that we know we don't quite care for, right? Like, we know we don't want... Of... Uh, Fish harpoons. Oh, the Galogay axe. Look at that. Okay, let's get rid of, yeah, the fish harpoons. I don't think I'd be using those. I must rest. Very well. Very well. Let's wait here for some time then. Wait until the next uh, set of wages go out. Would not pay all wages. Oof. That's bad. I should never be in that position. I should have done the, I should have checked the numbers there real quick. That is foolish of me. It's okay. A slight morale drop. We'll, uh... We'll recover from that in no time. RT extends his apologies, and, uh, that's why he, he bought the wine. That's why he bought the wine. Alright. Rid of the harpoon. Let's get rid of the... Throwing axes. I wonder if I want to use those throwing axes, actually. Definitely get rid of the hammer. Need some more charcoal. Get rid of you. Spiked mace. I'm going to keep for now the hatchet. What do I need? Am I tired again? Oh, I must rest once more. Very well. Well, for now, let's go ahead and trade what we have. It'd make us money to last us a little while. 289. Oof, that's not really a lot. I've let my finances get away from me. 130. Yeah, see, the men are expensive. I might actually need to go around uh, hunting a little bit. Might need to go around hunting a little bit. Or there's a tournament where I can try my luck. Something to think about. Something to think about, folks. 
We've made some progress in the investigation of Naretsi's folly. We have rebuilt our clan, made a good name for ourselves, and we've led our men to many a victory. Some won easily, some that required a fair bit of effort here and there. But overall, Partia certainly feels good about how his men have progressed. They're a little upset about their latest set of wages, but he assures them things will be a lot better. But this is where our chapter comes to a close. I hope you enjoyed this session, folks. All the way far up in the north, Partia has no idea how the war with his people or among his people is progressing. We stay at Revel. And next session, hopefully, we finally finish investigating Naretsi's folly and perhaps once more figure out how we can assist with the war effort. If you enjoyed this session, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I bid you farewell.